The small letter T on the side of your chainsaw. What is this and what does it mean exactly? Well, this letter T accompanying this tiny hole refers to a small adjustment screw accessible through this tiny hole that adjusts the chainsaw's idling speed. So screwing this screw inwards clockwise will increase the idling speed and screwing it out anti-clockwise will reduce the idling speed. But if its function is to adjust the idling speed, why is it labelled T? Well, whilst its labelling of T is difficult to pinpoint where the origin of this meaning has come from exactly, beyond any reason of a doubt, there are some ideas of why the letter T may have originated. And so firstly, when I was doing some internet research and asking people in the trade, one thing that came up a few times is that the letter T stands for throttle. That's because out of the three carburetor adjustment screws, the first being the T, the other being the H for adjusting the fuel to air mix at high RPM, and the other being the L for adjusting fuel to air mix at low RPM. So out of these three screws, the one labelled T actually adjusts the throttle plate in order to adjust the idling. And it is indeed the only one of the three that adjusts the throttle. So the T could have originated for throttle. Another idea I've come across that some people hold is that because the screw itself is shaped like a letter T. I personally found this a little less likely, but no one knows for sure. Another explanation is this screw's distinguishability. Having just a clear T stamped next to this screw makes it completely indistinguishable from the rest. Again, no one can say for sure. But one thing I have come across here in the UK is that British people often refer to idling as tick over. I'm not saying that this letter T does definitely refer to the word tick over. But for some years when I was actually a trainee apprentice, I actually thought it did. So that's how commonly both the use of this word and the letter T showed up on chainsaws identifying the idling screw here in the UK. But it's quite likely, in some sort of historical meaning, that the very early chainsaws actually adopted the term T-screw, and this term would have been printed in their user manuals. This would have made common usage of the term. And it may be possible that the letter T developed as a result of industrial jargon. Because terms within industries sometimes develop based on some sort of convention rather than actual logic. So for instance, in the early days of chainsaw developments, if a group of pioneering technicians commonly referred to the screw as the T-screw, then this term may have been commonly accepted regardless of anything else. And then we have cultural influences, where the naming of this screw by a specific manufacturer or a prominent figure that simply popularised this term. And finally, we've got ease of communication. That is, referring to it as the T-screw is a quick, easy and concise way to communicate what one is talking about. For instance, we've got the H-screw, the L-screw and the idling screw. For the first two screws, we've got a quick and concise letter to identify them. But this screw now being referred to as a word rather than simply a quick letter, whilst it is communicated quick and simply, we have to agree that it's not as quick and simple. So simply labelling it as T, so now we've got H, L and T, makes things much more concise, easy to distinguish and to communicate that distinguishability to others. Simple. And when we're talking about things like technical manuals, then the simpler and more distinguishable an explanation, the better. OK, again, I'm not saying that the explanations I've given are 100% concrete because the origins of the T-screw is somewhat difficult to pinpoint beyond any reason of a doubt. But what I want to know is what do you think? Do you know any more reasons or any more definitive reasons as to why this screw is called a T-screw? Please let me know in the comments. When other users read these comments, they learn so much. All I ask is that we keep it respectful in an educational style setting. I really appreciate each respectful comment. But for now, I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon.